homeless ones on the street. Every restaurant looking in here is black. Every car beside them is black. They can have Atlanta. That it used to be a fun place to come to up here. They can have this place right here. Hammer gang. Cause we always hit the nail on the head. So check this out. My college football fans in general, in general, my college football fans in general. Now this video that I'm about to bring to you is very explicit. Um, some of the language is very graphic, absurd and stuff like that. But we're gonna have a discussion after you guys see some of the clips and we're gonna talk about it and you guys can get in the comment section. Now I did make a video um, previously about this. Um, linking Clemson's Dabo and Mike Norvell to this guy. Um, not saying that Mike Norvell or Dabo is racist. Let's make that clear. Let's make that clear. I don't know if Dabo is racist and I don't know if Mike Norvell, I don't know if any of these coaches are racist. I do know that this guy says what he says and you guys can see it for yourself. So let's get into it. Now, before we get any further, please do me a huge favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you ain't already. Um, I'm thinking about doing a live show where we could talk about some of these things. I don't really like talking about these things, to be honest with you. I hate talking about race, religion, and politics on a sports channel. We all come here to get away from all of that. But this does affect college football, and it is college football related. Related. And it's the off season, guys. A little bit of drama here and there don't hurt. Anyways, let's get into it. That stuff. Yeah, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Just need to, that, there, there's your... Yeah, well, it, was a, it was just a sign up there. It had Obama and all them on there and stuff, man. So, yeah, that's all that's up here. That's all that's up here, man. And stuff is just crap. Yeah. Yeah, you and Borf need to come up here and go hunting. Stop it. Get some help. Yeah. And stuff, man. Ain't nothing here, dog. Ain't nothing but blacks up here. That's all it is. Atlanta's done gone down man just gone hit that like button subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell let's go bro look at this nigga trying to pull out in front of me right here look at this nigga trying to pull out in front of me right here hey do you see did you see that that tree right there yeah did you see that tree right there Ro will hang you from that tree no, God, please, no, no. Yeah. Bro, bro, look what you got. Look what you got, man. $129, look at that. Nice, look at this nice jacket. Laid out here on the bed for me. Nice, Columbia. Yeah, Columbia, yeah. Yeah, so got the Glock by the bed. Let me go. Room service. I need y'all niggas to bring me some chicken wings, two hoes. Okay. A red bone and a white girl. Y'all want the white girl, uh, Ro gonna try the, the red bone. No, no, Borf ain't coming. Yeah, he was here and everything, he make them leave. He, he make the red bone leave. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, he, no, he don't do that. Everything. I tried that one time at the house. Yeah, just Ro. Yeah. He he, he 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 probably do it, and he probably going to throw out that we on the 14th floor. He probably throw out the window. What, bro? What are you talking about, man? What he done with her? Yeah, cheap right. All right, guys. So there you have it. There you have it. That's the controversial video of the guy here, Mark Taylor. Now, last video I messed around and said Mike Taylor. I'm sorry, uh, Mark Taylor. Mark Taylor. These are the things that he's being said. Now, a lot of you guys like proof, you know, some of you guys aren't on social media like that. So when you see people talking about certain things, you want proof, well, there's your proof, there's the pudding. Um, let me know how you guys feel. Um, do you, I don't think none of y'all will agree with them. And if you do agree with them, I don't think you'll publicly say it anyway, but let me know how y'all feel about this subject. Like, share, subscribe, do all of that. Um, yeah, man, let's have a discussion. So obviously, this is a guy that trains quarterbacks, trains quarterbacks. I and mean, he has been popping up in a lot of photos, Nick Saban, um, some of the other teams, a lot of teams, a lot of teams. 
you know, when you need an athlete, when you need a quarterback and stuff like that, a lot of these schools are going to go to him. He does run a training facility for a lot of athletes. So he is linked to a lot of these head coaches for, um, you know, these high name colleges, Tennessee, um, Alabama, Georgia, and so forth and so forth. Clemson, um, Florida State, who knows, some of your favorite colleges. Um, now, I'm not saying that any of these schools or colleges are, um, you know, represented by him, but he is linked. He is a guy that's very well linked with these schools. He He's he's on campus. He's pretty much um, one of those guys that they welcome in with open arms. Not saying that none of these schools or colleges knew about his, you know, personal behavior and things that he has just put on camera now. So... I must say this too, if any of these schools or any of these um, coaches or the individuals that works in these um, institutions knew about him and knew he was like this and they still let him continue to come around and stuff like that, shame on you. But let me know how you guys feel, man. Controversial, um, very controversial. But do you guys think this guy should be canceled? Do you guys think that um, the schools should distance themselves from him. Now, of all the schools that I have seen that he's been linked with, the only one that has spoke out so far and say that this guy does not represent us is none other than the Crimson, the Crimson Tide Alabama. Roll Tide. So, let me know how you guys feel. Like, share, subscribe, T2Y, I'm out. Oh!